So Ohio Governor Mike DeWine says the state is going to opt out of the federal pandemic unemployment compensation program at the end of June. This is a push to get people back to work, filling vacant jobs at businesses statewide. The program allows people collecting jobless benefits to receive an extra $300 a week. Our extensive coverage on helping people get their benefits is on WCPO.com. Today, our work continues as Mariel Carbone shows us some families who say the decision to stop the program should not be so cut and dry. Well, the mother I spoke to tells me that dealing with unemployment in general over the last year has been a nightmare, but the idea of losing this pandemic relief is even worse, and she says it's going to put her family in harm's way. I'm very frustrated with the whole situation. For mother Sarah Russell, the end of federal pandemic unemployment compensation in Ohio could mean life or death. And they're putting me in the position to where I have to choose between protecting my daughter's life or being able to provide shelter and food to my children. Her daughter, six-year-old Emily, has a rare gene mutation and kidney disease, meaning she is more susceptible to the virus. According to a doctor's note from Cincinnati Children's Hospital, Emily can't go to daycare right now and Russell must be her caregiver. So she hasn't been able to work cleaning homes over the last year and instead relies on the pandemic unemployment. Without the benefits, Russell will need to return to work and Emily to childcare, putting the girl at risk because she's too young to be vaccinated. They should not be making that decision when everybody cannot be vaccinated. The assistance was always, always intended to be temporary. Thursday, Governor Mike DeWine announced Ohio will opt out of the federal program June 26th. That's three months earlier than when the program actually ends because... That extra $300 a week in federal pandemic unemployment compensation is, in some cases, just certainly discouraging people from going back. The extra $300 came in handy. Came Tim Proud also applied for the federal for pandemic sure. unemployment benefits. He hasn't been able to work at his job at Starbucks because of an underlying health condition. After nearly a year of waiting, he finally received his pay this week. Thank God I haven't been in a uh, situation where I needed to pay rent and put food on the table and I, I just feel for all these people that have that situation. Still, he is supportive of the state's decision. I think it's a good thing because people aren't going back to work because they're making more money on unemployment and we need to get the economy going. It's not that people are being too lazy to go back. Like the impacts are still happening. Marielle Carbone, WCPO 9 News.